what's your normal, because, you know, one of your things as a manager, and we'll get into the Dream Machine book in a minute, like casting this vision for people and helping them accomplish their dreams. What's the turnover? Like, do you have a lot of people that work for you in your region who have been there a year, five years, 10 years? Or is it like every summer you're recruiting a new crop of, you know, college freshmen to go sell knives? Like, what is what does it look both. like for you, longevity? Yeah, so both. So in other words, yes and yes. So I have, you know, Turn, turnover is a challenge that we deal with. And at first, when I was a newer manager at, at Cutco, I thought it was it was a specific to Cutco thing. And then, you know, as I've gotten older, it's yeah, <laughs> I've recognized like, no, that's everybody's number one issue is, is retention of their people. So no matter what our business model is, hey, we need to get a lot of people to sell Cutco, right? So we are in the recruiting business. And so winter breaks, summertime, you really year round, but summertime for sure, we are on our grind you know, all over the place, advertising, trying to find as many high quality students as we can. And um, so because of the recruiting nature, we also naturally are going to have more turnover as well. This is this is one of those jobs there that, that we don't look for experience ahead of time, because if we did, we're not going to find any 18 year olds that have sales experience, right? Uh, anything of substance. And so we are taking a chance on almost everybody. But the nice thing is they got nothing to lose, especially the job is virtual now. Right. So they literally are doing Zoom presentations. So they don't have anything to, to lose. And so it's very much a, hey, we look for more reasons why to hire somebody as opposed to why not to. Yep. And um, and we kind of allow them to figure out if it's a job for them or not. Yep. And we also have, uh, we have a healthy amount of individuals like on our management team. And then what we call our Cutco sales professional team, people that do it year round as a career. That Those two teams are very solid and have been with me for quite a while. Nice. And because it's contract work, I'm guessing all of your people, like we have a friend, John Israel, is yep. welcome to run his- Do whatever they want. His sales business and also do his speaking business and take time to write a book. So even those yep. people that get out of college are like, okay, cool, I can make 30, 40, $50,000 selling knives on the side and I can, you know, whatever, chase my true passion or build my totally. other side hustle. And that that's totally okay. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, for instance, with me, right? Like I, I spent time writing the book, launched the book. I've been doing stuff with that. Uh, Cutco has been the number one supporter of that. They've been, they've been all about like, Hey, you do your thing. You know, obviously as uh, they don't say this, but the assumption is as long as I keep producing, right. 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 Go funny, for it. And funny do. how that works in every sales organization. Right. <laughs> yeah. They're like, so, yeah, you know, Scott, you can do that cute little podcast thing and you can do that cute little coaching thing, but keep producing $10 million a month in loans. Or yes. We're going to, we're yes. going to give you shit about your expense account. Right. That's a hundred, that's a hundred percent. So um, but you know, yeah, everybody's independent contractor. I've been with the company for, for 20 years. I'm still an independent contractor. Amazing. Right. And so, um, I like it that way though, because I'm in charge of my own stuff and, and, um, you know, I eat what I kill. Yeah. Yeah. 